Ms. Hurd, you testified that in January of 2015, there was an incident in Tokyo before uh, Mr. Depp's Mordecai, the film Mordecai's premiere. Is that correct? That's correct. And you told this jury that on this occasion, Mr. Depp was kneeling on your back. That's correct, in the closet. And you also told this jury that you wore a backless dress to the Mordecai premiere that very same night. I did. And you testified that you were checking for bruises in the car on the way back, on the way to the event to make sure that there, there were, quote, no visible marks, right? I was checking on my phone um, after the event to see, to make sure that nothing, they couldn't see anything. Your testimony was that you were checking in the car on the way to the event to make sure that there were no marks on your back. Perhaps I misspoke or I misunderstood. It was on the way back from it was after I was concerned. After, you know, concerned that there would be marks in any photographs since we were being photographed at Johnny's press event. And you didn't show this jury a picture of you in that backless dress, though, did you? Um, I don't know what you mean. I'm sorry. You didn't show this jury a picture of you at the Mordecai premiere wearing a backless dress, did you? I haven't had the opportunity to. I assume you have it. I do. Um, let's please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 1256. This is a picture of you and Mr. Depp, or the back of you, at the Mordecai premiere in Tokyo, correct, Ms. Hurd? That is correct. Your Honor, I move to admit and publish this picture. All right, 1256 in evidence. This is you in the backless dress at the Mordecai premiere in Tokyo, right? That is correct. You would agree that there are no bruises or visible marks on your back in this picture? No, not that I could see. I'll show you one other photo. If we could please have plaintiff's exhibit 1257. This is a front angle picture of you and Mr. Depp at that premiere, correct? That is correct. Move to admit plaintiff's exhibit 1257. Okay. All right, 1257. I'll show you one more picture. Plaintiff's exhibit 1258. And again, Ms. Heard, this is you and Mr. Dad with the Mordecai premiere? Yes, it is. Move to admit plaintiff's exhibit 1258. No objection. All right, 1258 in evidence. Publish. And that's the backless dress, right, Ms. Heard? That is correct. You also told this jury about an incident in Australia in March of 2015. Yes, that's correct. You testify that after this alleged incident, you had cuts on your forearms, right? Yes, that's true. And you testified that you had cuts on the bottoms of your feet as well. Yes, that's true. And you testified that you had a bruise across your jaw from when Mr. Depp, quote, clocked you in the face, end quote. That's true. You didn't take any pictures of these injuries while you were in Australia, did you? I don't think, no, I don't think I took any pictures. You just took two pictures of Mr. Depp's writing on a mirror. Isn't that right? I believe so, yes. So you had your phone on you, right? At some point I did have my phone. And your iPad? I had my iPad, I believe. And you testified that you were also raped with a liquor bottle in Australia, right, Ms. Heard? Yes. You testified you bled from your vagina as a result of that sexual assault. Yes. There aren't any medical records reflecting that you sought medical treatment for any of these injuries, are there? I did not seek uh, medical treatment after Australia, no. Not for the rape? No, I did not want to tell anyone. Not for the cuts? No. Not for the injuries to your face? I didn't need to. You also told the jury about an incident on December 15, 2015, right? Uh, where? I'm sorry. December 15th, 2015. Yes, that's correct. 
<clears throat> you told this jury that after this incident, you had a broken nose. It certainly felt like it. Sir, do you recall giving testimony on day 16 in this trial? You yes, are both, right? Yes. Okay. All right. We'll get, we'll get it. I will do. Thank you, Judy. Your Honor. All right, yes, ma'am. And would you like a coffee? Sandwich? Yes, please. If I can please direct your attention, Ms. Heard, to page of day 16, 4593, the jury trials transcript. Lines 8 through 13. On which page? I'm sorry. 4593. Yes. Starting on line 8. I thought I probably had a concussion and certainly thought, excuse me, strike that, let's start over. I thought I had. I thought I probably had a concussion and certainly that I had a broken nose. There was a blood everywhere, blood all over the pillows. My head was bleeding from the ripped out hair, chunks of hair on the floor, all over the place actually. So lines nine, that I had a broken nose. Do you re recall giving that testimony, Ms. Heard? Yes, exactly. So you had a broken nose, right? That's absolutely what I thought had two black eyes after this incident, right? I did have two black eyes after that incident. And you testified that you also had a busted lip from when Mr. Depp punched you. That is uh, correct. From December, yes, that's correct. You testified that the lip wound kept reopening when you moved your mouth. That's correct. You also testified that you had bruising on your temple. That's correct. And bruising on your chin. Correct. You also testified that your head was bleeding from where Mr. Depp ripped chunks of your hair out. I remember, yes. And that you had, quote, gross pussy and, quote, bruising around your temple. Uh, in my scalp, yeah. Now, for this incident, you did take pictures. Correct? That's correct. And we will look at some of those in a minute. But I first want to talk to you about your appearance on the James Corden show. Sure. Can I close this? Sure. You appeared on the James Corden show the day after this alleged incident, right? I did. And that was December 16th, 2015? Yes, that's correct. Let's please pull up a clip of your appearance from that evening. If we could, Plaintiff's Exhibit 35. And for the record, we will only be playing a portion of this, so we will call it uh, Plaintiff's Exhibit 35A. All right, any objection? No. Uh, 35A in evidence. I hope, you know, we may have it oh. please published. <laughs> okay, thank you. 
apologies. If we can please start that you over. Start it over, I'm sorry. Thank you, Your Honor. That was you on the James Corden show on December 16th, 2015, right, Ms. Heard? That was. Let's please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 98. These are pictures of you on the James Corden show on December 16th, 2015, right, Ms. Heard? They look like freeze frames, um, like screen grabs, stills. They're not like a, it's not like a photo shoot, it doesn't seem. But on the James Corden show, correct? From that appearance, yes. Um, move to admit and publish Plaintiff's Exhibit 98. Any objection? All right. And Ms. Brady, you could move the microphone and turn it on for you so Judy and I are having trouble hearing you. Sorry about that. All right, thank you. All right, 98 in evidence. Thank you. That's a photo of you opening your mouth on the right, right? That's correct. And again, an, a, a larger view of the same photo on the bottom. That's correct. With a split lip. You've seen pictures of it without makeup. Yes. So you had a split lip when you I were sure moving did. your mouth that way. I sure did. In those photographs. Absolutely. 